Hello, good afternoon or good evening to everyone. Welcome to day four of week zero and the second career session of the week. Um, our career session today is uh, a kind of straight to the point with uh, the topic that you're already uh, familiar with since it came within um, your application. Yeah, 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 it was in your application. So yeah. Let's go ahead. Uh, there is no slide to explain. It's uh, strictly um, a challenge that everyone is going to develop according to what they already have. But before we get started, um, how is everyone? Can I get like thumbs up, thumbs down? How is the energy level in the room? Okay, I'm seeing Carmel with, together and Shekoni with together. Sumaya, uh, Muhammad, that's super, that's super to get them keywords. Muhammad again. Great. Okay, let's go ahead. Okay, I'm seeing you also, Sitota. So the challenge is on ideas to change the world. Um, you faced this same question within your application, and why do we actually focus on this kind of question within the application is because anything we are learning, it's either to we go back in our communities and then contribute our knowledge to solve different problems that different companies are trying to solve, either using anything from AI or data engineering or machine learning. And also to think about um, how about at some point in life we get to set our own ventures we get to implement our own ventures that are also, you know, supplementing what others have already started to build or are, that are solving a problem that no one ever thought about before. So that's why we think of um, this specific challenge on ideas to change the world. Like if you gain this knowledge, what are you going to be using it outside? So briefly, like that's the sole, um, reason or essence behind the question this question you received uh within your application and yeah for week zero we always focus on it so that we can be able to develop it and uh so that also at the beginning like of the training to everyone who's going to be joining us you know you get to have like um let me call it a mission that you're going to be focusing on of course we have to learn jobs First, but how about you have like a long-term vision of something you want to achieve by yourself? And of course, also in yesterday's CBS, we saw that so many people want to build their own AI companies. And that's what we want to hear. That's uh, what we want to help you set a foundation for, to even set a, a kind of elaborated thought for. And then later, when you get to, you know, to set your mind, uh to start thinking of how you can actually put it to life bring it to life you know you can go ahead and start on this foundation so basically that's like the sole purpose behind this specific challenge okay let's go through it the submission deadline is on saturday 8 p.m utc as always and let's read through the challenge i will be pausing to explain and then we continue uh until we are done with this document okay so the challenge it comes on the aspect that in your application there was a question that said tell us how you will use generative ai to impact five million young people in africa in the coming five years be specific and describe how you will measure the impact of your idea what role technology will play and where technology will Play a role. Let's, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what role the technology we play, and of course, where exactly it's going to be playing a role. So, coming up back to this question, I want us to pay attention on the key words that we have here. First of all, we have that uh, your solution is going to be using generative AI um, technology. And then it's going to impact 5 million 
people look into that scope and then what kind of people are we talking about here we are talking about young people in africa we're not talking about childs you, you know like from zero to five years or some adults people from 40 years plus we are talking about young people and all young people are ranged from every from 16 years up until 35 years those are the people we consider as young people in the world demography so yep these are the keywords here and of course it's in africa and it's in the upcoming five years and everything else is this is the structure that it wanted you to follow like be specific and describe how you will measure your impact um and also what role technology is going to play and where exactly so what is the challenge about here in that uh, in the application you had just to submit something like a statement or essay but here you are going to be extending your answer into a storyboard or ppt presentation um using six slides maximum storyboard i mean like mirror board if you know how to use it it's better for demonstration of any any project so if you know how to use it it's better but also if you do not know how to use it then use ppt is very okay maximum six slides and which will be uh, suitable for sharing with others at sun academy to encourage them to join you you to join you to start implementing your projects like we want that this is very very clear for everyone who would be a potential stakeholder to join your your project you know so let's go ahead and then to get your presentation we set here different uh questions that every slide is going to be basing on so let's go through them Make sure your presentation answers the following questions. Number one, state the problem that you're addressing, why you chose that problem among others, and as well as the field and industry it, uh, or sector it is in. Your answer should clearly explain the problem you're solving, why you have chosen to solve this problem, and by this we mean illustrate using at least one data source the scale of, to show the scale of the, pro, the problem. And this problem, as we said, it should be affecting at least 5 million people globally. Um, yeah, let me keep the keywords going. Young people globally mention if this issue is occurring in your country or your region. If yes, identify why it is only occurring in your region or, or in your country only. And also, if no, identify other areas in the world where it will also be occurring and you want to focus your solution there. And when you answer, ask yourself, can this problem be solved by generative AI? Because it's the whole main sole purpose of the challenge. Can this problem be solved by generative AI? Number second, um, how would you solve this problem? What approach are you going to use and why? Is your proposed solution realistic in your country, regions, current economic state? And also, can you propose the solution to be realistically implemented using gen AI technology that already exists? Or is it something you're going to be developing? And number three, what role will technology play in your proposed solution to this problem? And also, will this technology be sustainable, affordable, and will it be applicable to all regions or countries where this problem is occurring? You know, from what you mentioned in uh, question one. Then compare your proposed solution to current technology being used to combat this problem. Number four, find past solutions to this problem and illustrate how your solution has improved on, is going to improve on the original or previous one. Include this in your maximum six slide. This means um, maybe your solution is not like solidly new. Maybe it exists, it's being uh, used maybe in the US, and you want to do the same thing within your country, Ethiopia, Nigeria, or Kenya, or Uganda, where you're located, you know, does this solution actually being so being used to solve another problem in another region? Like, do we have actually an existing solution like that and you want to improve on it? And then number five, e Tell us if you do not get to receive funding from your government, identify three funding sources who can realistically approach to fund your solution to this problem. 
this is straight to the point. And of course, for this assignment, feel free to use both images and was to communicate and complete this exercise. And uh, here are some of the guidelines, something you can, you know, follow. Let's go through it. While this exercise will challenge you to be creative about your presentation, yes, again, we want PowerPoint presentation or storyboard pre presentation. There is no Word document, completely no Word document. Uh, and of course, when you get to join, uh, when you get to join Tan Academy, you are going to see that we are heavy at PowerPoint presentations because that's where, uh, that's what all other companies are using. The companies that you're going to join, no one submits a report in Word document, no one submits a report in, uh, in, not even a report, or even their work or everything, anything they had to do in Word documents, that, that's to be honest. Everything has to go in PowerPoint presentation because it's easy to read, it's easy to restrict your ideas without, you know, talking a lot. It's it's just, you know, very communicable to everyone who can come around it. So heavy on the PowerPoint presentation. And we want you to use the bullet points, short sentences, and remember to use the keywords. You know, that means the 5 million young people, generative AI, Africa, or which, which country specifically or region, you know, all those kind of keywords. And then make sure your presentation is easy to read. Do not use too many different colors or too many different fonts. And uh, talking about this point, if you are not familiar with PowerPoint presentation, don't worry, uh, we're taking so much time going on YouTube, learning how to use it. Just go on Canvas. Uh, let me write here the website's name. Go on canva.com and then look for a template. Easy. Yeah, that's the correct one. And then look for a template that you can use by ensure that it's, you know, it's not clouded with too many kind of designs and colors. Just look for a simple one that you want to use to present your project. Then proof your, proofread your content before submission. Look at for everything. If you have, uh, if your answers fulfill uh, the requirements within these six, five questions above here, and ensure that you do not have grammatical errors and any kind of typos. And then um, there are only five main points that you need to address. So do not add any relevant information to this presentation. Just keep uh, your answers in the scope of everything that is asked here. Then make sure you have the cover page with your name, like everything, your PowerPoint, it should be having a cover page with your name. You know, the, and the cover page can have your name and then the project name. For instance, project name by Sitota, for instance and of course full name. Each slide should be titled to indicate which point you are addressing. I'm going to show you here within a template that I put here that you can use or, you know, um, or look for yours, no worries. And then you can use images in, in this presentation, but make sure that everything in the presentation is relevant to, to the content that you are delivering. That means within the images, you do not just have to, ha to add, have to add uh, a random image. Just ensure that the image that is there is communicating or is relevant to the project that you are actually talking about. So let's look at the guiding uh, PowerPoints that I have here. Um, yeah, okay. Okay, this, you can see that this is simple and straight to the point. I have my cover page with just information about Ten Academy, but you can have yours with your project name and your names. And then this uh, first slide is about the cover page and the title should be your innovative solution for global impact. Uh, it should be related with what we are talking about. And then your subtitle, these are the examples your subtitle, using technology to positively impact lives, 
then your name and email. And then introduction to the problem. Go ahead and tell us about the challenge you are facing. Briefly describe the problem and its global relevance, and then ensure you answer the questions that we have on this specific very first question. And then you go ahead and tell us about your solution or your innovative approach. Explain why this solution is realistic and implement implementable in your country or region and discuss the scalability and sustainability of the solution as requested. So, do, okay, these are just to guide you from the, uh, from the challenge document, but ensure that you read the question very well for you to answer accordingly, because the rubrics are going to be focusing on what we have in the challenge document. And then on the technologies role, uh, tell us about you know how you're going to be leveraging technology as a catalyst to solving this problem, and then um, improvements of other past solutions. Tell us if there are there are if you made your research and realized that actually your solution is already in place in some other areas, and tell us how you're going to be advancing by beyond those previous efforts. And then funding strategies, just in case you do not get any fund, any government funding. Where else do you feel like people are getting this kind of funding for projects like yours? So um, basically, that's it. Um, yeah. Any questions? Oh, and uh, we have some of the links that are highlighted here on how to create ppt how to uh design storyboarding how to create how to use hubspot uh, for creating some other also good powerpoints i mean it's just a, a couple of links that you can refer to and um yeah the session has already been run and you can reach out to me if you have any questions and then we have here uh, the marking rubrics. The marking rubrics are going to be updated to be more focused on the questions and also to guide your answers. So in like one hour, you may refresh, you will be seeing uh, very detailed marking rubrics. Yep, I believe that is all. Yeah, yeah, that is all. Do we present? Is it only just for submission? Yes, you will present it during your interview. So uh, ensure that you have like a really good presentation. Uh, yeah, that's a hint. Actually, it was not supposed to be. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's a hint. You are going to be talking about it during your interview. So yeah, give it some time. You already have the idea shared, so this is like putting it together in your presentation. So, yeah, nothing much. I believe it's not going to be hard to put together. That's a good question, Mohammed. Any other question? um if it is clear you can also give me some thumbs up uh okay thank you so much thank you so much okay if it is clear then uh, we can go ahead and enjoy the rest of the day see you very shortly in today's cbs bye for now